Digital currencies were on their way up until cyber attacks in recent years caused many investors to lose billions of dollars. Now cryptocurrency experts say digital currency is ready for a rebound, thanks in part to congressional action to regulate digital asset markets. We hear a lot about the lack of legal clarity for the treatment of digital assets, which was the impetus for this legislation. North Carolina Representative Patrick McHenry says the Financial Innovation and Technology for the 21st Century Act, or FIT 21, will ensure the United States remains a global leader in technological innovation and adoption. At its core, FIT 21 applies time-tested consumer protections to ensure the 20 percent of Americans who engage in digital asset in the digital asset ecosystem can do so safely, and so more Americans can engage as well. Matthew Graham is managing partner of the emerging technologies venture capital firm Rise Labs. At a recent crypto conference in Texas, he said the United States is trailing the world in digital currency and should not presume that the standard for most electronic money will continue to be U.S. dollars or USD. Do you really view USD hegemony as an overwhelming and foreign national interest? And that it's a very strong reason to double down on incentivizing crypto because if there's anything that's good for the future of USD hegemony, it's an alternative for future financial asset class that is overwhelmingly U uh, USD. In this U.S. presidential campaign, there are digital currencies named for but unaffiliated with President Joe Biden and the presumptive Republican nominee, Donald Trump. Third-party candidate Robert Kennedy Jr. was at the Texas Crypto Conference, where supporter and American Crypto Academy CEO Jahan Jamali launched the digital coin Bobby. What we've seen over the last year or so uh, are what's called mean coins sort of translate out of crypto into movement type of coins, especially now that it's a political uh, election year here in the United States. If senators do not take up the House digital currency legislation in this election year, it may be up to the next president to shape cryptocurrency's future in the United States. Dina Mitchell, VOA News, Austin, Texas.